is that we got to be committed. We just can't say and talk about change, but not be willing to go out there and commit ourselves to change, right? Like, we got to be committed to that change, right? You got to be committed to it. Like, I was committed to my change as a man. I knew I was out there faulty. I knew I was out there wrong. I knew I was out there telling the woman that I was with, I love you, but my, I, my head's still on the swivel every time somebody nice walk back. You hear me? I'm out here trying to satisfy my God and my lower self. I can't serve both of them. My wife's back there right now. That's my queen. I would be lost without her. She balanced me. You know what I'm saying? We're a team. We work together. When I learn things like myself, like I'm extroverted. My wife is introverted. She's sensitive. I'm intuitive. I'm a bank. She's feeling. She a judge. I'm perceptive. Now I know how to deal with that. We work good together. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, one of the things I fell in love with is her commitment. I'm in love with her commitment to me, even when I don't deserve it. She's like, nah. Cause I seen something in your little pizza here for us, so I'm gonna hang with you for a second and stuff to see what's going on, right? But what people don't know about my wife is that she's one of the most caring caregivers in the world. You will never be able to tell them. You will never be able to tell that they're dealing with the devil inside the family right now. You know? I would have been so that um, tomorrow. You would never know. You would never know that we went to the hospital and our son was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and epilepsy. You won't know what it feel like to be in the house and be on the string to someone who was non-verbal and bed stripping. He can't move himself. And he needs to be fed five times a day. And my wife can handle that. 27 now. For the last 25 years, she handled that. When the biological father walked out the door, she stayed there and handled that. And she and Larry be the hospital. She and Children's Memorial Hospital. We at South Suburban Hospital. We trying to increase or decrease the felbital, the melatonin, the Valproic app. <clears throat> You're not just looking at the speaker. I don't have to wear no mask. I told you at the beginning. I don't have nothing in my closet to hide. We got to talk about what's going on out here so it can help somebody in their life because somebody out here is dealing with that.